man. All right, we got him. We like to apologize. For what? To absolutely no one! <laughs> <laughs> the two-time champ does absolutely <laughs> fucking no <nothing. laughs>
And then uh, That's what we like to hear, man. And there's there's a lot of structure to to the to the to the foundations. Mm. Top to bottom. Yeah. Break it down first, man. Oh, I broke it down already, bro. <laughs> and this is this sounds, is this sounds is sounds beautiful. <laughs> like you can find like you can find like the, the thin the thin frame chairs and mm. then like the bold ones, they still have immaculate cushion in. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, hell, man. You go in the jail. And sometimes, yeah, you just be surprised. You just be like, oh, this is a lovely chair. <laughs> so what a great foundation. That, you have. Out that you know, you didn't see it coming, but listen. We hear now. In the homeland as well, that's crazy. <sighs> Talk us oh, through your man, escapades, man. man. What you been getting up to out there? Um so it, to, to be fair, this holiday was about to not happen oh, yeah. because of the traffic and what happened on the traffic. So after coming off of Dartford Bridge, um, for the people in the UK that know, after coming off of Dartford Bridge, yeah, there was just heavy, heavy traffic. And then this is just before a service stop. And there's like, a, there's like an emergency stop on the, on the side you can go. And then there's like the phone where it's SOS. Okay. So a lady, uh, <laughs> me and my brother, my brother was driving. And he's like, oh, this lady's about to take a dump. Yeah. As a joke. Hey, yo. As a real joke. We just said it as a joke. <laughs> then he pulled out a child to see it. And we just saw one come out. I'm like, yo. No, nah, man. That's gross. That's insane. <laughs> How it did you? Make sense. Oh, that would have ruined my day. Nah, it yeah, didn't nobody make needs sense to see because that. The <laughs> service stop was like was just around the corner. She it had was, to go. It was quite literally around the corner. Like you know where it gives you the warning. Like there's three, then there's two, mm. then there's one. Like it was just there, and she decided to do it at the SOS. Like bang in front of everybody, and like me and brother were like, "What's going on?" Cool. So that happened. I get to the airport now. Uh, check my luggage, and then I go to the I go to the um, I go to the gate. Uh, there's a massive long queue. They call up everybody in the at the at the end seats to come first. So it was myself. So I was like, alright, cool. Let me go there. Um, I started sleeping, mm-hmm. and then we took off on time. Then for some strange reason, we started making like different shapes, just different shapes um, in the air. And that was due to the fact that the one of the wing flaps wasn't working. And it was a big, it was a big risk for the pilot to decide either to continue with the flight or to not continue with the flight. So um and the reason why he decided not to continue with the flight was due to the fact that if he's up in the air and something happens, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's going to be super hard to control. So after an hour and a half, he makes shapes in the sky, dumping jet fuel engine just to make the plane lighter. Does this man and think then, it's flight or something? Bro, it was, it, it was something similar to that. I promise no, he's you. he's getting on his Denzel Washington. Yeah, 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 I promise you. So um, by the time the plane landed, he told us that the measurement that usually, on average, we land is 250 kph. I don't know what that is. And then we were landing at 330 kph. No, you're trying so to kill already, you. So it already, was, it was insane. Um, so then the firefighters were there. Aviation police were there. What? Everybody what? was there. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, because it was a serious, it was a serious situation, and um, he just turned around and decided to say, "Okay, cool, guys, what we're gonna do? We're gonna sit here for like maybe thirty or forty minutes and see if the engineers can actually fix the problem." He said nah, that for, like, get me off. <laughs> he said that three <laughs> times. Final destination. I don't know how this ends. Get me off. He said brother. it twice, and we believed him. And then the third time, he said, "No, nah, okay, cool. I mean, everyone's gonna have to get off, and then what's get, gonna happen what? is that get a new your, plane. Your flight." Yeah, no, no, basically, you're not going to go on, on, on this current airline. You're going to go on another airline. But everything's going to be sorted out for you. You don't have to pay for anything. It's just going to be done. 
So, mm. anyways, we're ready to go. Then he says, "I right, hold on. We can fix it. Oh, no, my God. This are. guy's taking no. the piss. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> taking the fucking like, piss. Nah, nah, man, just, just don't worry, man. Like, I'm drunk scout. right now. What airline is this? This is so, Kenyan Airways. So I can know to avoid it. I'm never touching <laughs> Kenyan Airways ever again, bro. Are you crazy? Oh, that's mad. That's crazy. So, um, so yeah, so pretty much, um, basically, I, I was supposed to fly at 10 a.m. I ended up flying 8 p.m. And that messed up my whole Thursday because I was supposed to come, I was supposed to basically come and sleep and then wake up like 10 a.m., 10, mm. 11 a.m. and then deal with the day with um, the man who's getting married and also the brother because that's like family to me. So, however, I came like three o'clock in the afternoon. I started dealing with them issues there and this, this and that. Um, but yeah, they gave us Emirates. And it was really pleasant. Oh, look how you upgraded. Spoke... Look at life. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was upgraded. It was upgraded. Yeah, man. And I sat with a guy called Chris. Shout out to Chris. He's he's an old, he's he's a fairly old British, like proud to be British man. But I mm. mean that in like the positive way. Like he knows he knows the current situation, but like he's he he's a man, isn't it? Mm. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 a proper he's a proper guy. Do you get what I'm saying? So shout out to him, man. Shout out to Chris. I had a great conversation with him, and we we're just talking about a bunch of stuff. But anyways, to Tanzania itself, um, Tanzania so far has been great, man. It's been awesome. Like everything has just been wonderful so far. The weather, the food, the people, the energy. Uh, it's it's been brilliant. I know that sun is hitting different. Can you guys yeah, see this like, message, by the way? Sorry, pause, guys. About 10 minutes left. Or is it just no, I didn't mine? see that. Okay, it's because I haven't got a Zoom Pro. Because obviously... Oh. <laughs> anyway, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'll edit this back. Yeah, so... um, We'll just do 10 minutes and then call it. Bro. <laughs> I know it's crazy, <laughs> but... Hey, man. Uh, it is what it is. So, um, yeah. So, no, the weather right now is like... The lowest is like 27 degrees. And you really feel oh. it. It's like... It's it's like it's somewhat it's somewhat cool. Like I'm not sweating at 27 degrees. Mm, but when it's right. 36 in the afternoon, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's hot. yeah, that sun is spanking you. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm kind of used to it now. Like in a small I, amount I of time I've been here, degrees. I'm 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 actually used to it, and like it's nice, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. Just when's staying last, indoors though. Was... When's the last time you've been there before this time? Was it like a yeah? When's the last time? I can't actually remember for you. 2019. Okay, so it's a pandemic. Or longer, so. yeah, I was supposed to go last year, but um, some stuff happened. But I don't really want to talk about that because, yeah, that was that was a joke. And I was supposed to be on Kenya Airways as well, so <laughs> shout out to my bro. <laughs> I'm not shutting this airline if I ever see it. <laughs> it's calm. No, the airline is Denzel. calm. It's just that this this was wild. This was once in a lifetime. Mm. I can't and thank God to he, he, he spun the block twice. But like there was no one to he park. Dropped, in the he, plane. Made, he made a penis in the air, bro. Like you saw the like the two still guys just checking my food. Okay, cool. I'm still here. Um <laughs> oh okay, cool. So basically, like, yeah, he made a circle. I'll probably put the put a picture up. I don't know, be like the display picture, picture uh, today. Thing for the week. Exactly, yeah. Because basically there was just he made like one massive circle. Then he did three circles on the other side. Then he came back and basically it looks like a penis. And then because he couldn't land, he had to do like, he had to do another round. So it just looked, it looked I weird. Think, yeah, that was the insane flat path. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, he saved, he saved everybody's life. No one was in danger. Yeah, when you that put it like crazy. that. Yeah. Because I can't, that's a tough decision to call because certain pilots would be pressurized by how much it costs to actually dock and stuff. And they probably think we can make this like, it wouldn't be that difficult an issue, um, distance. Oh, but if yeah. I'm in that position, I'm just, I'm putting the plane down. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I yes, really don't you're right. Patience. The amount of money, the amount of money, because the thing is, everything's been paid for. So, mm. the time that you're at Heathrow, the time that, um, pardon me, yeah, the time that you're at Heathrow, the time that you have to take off, the amount of delays that you have to cause just to take off, just to come back, so on and so forth. A place to dock 
straight after one hour and 30 minutes of flying up in the air, it's an issue. It's a massive issue. So like the amount of cost they've incurred already and then having to take all the mm. customers that they had for that specific flight to then push it to another airline, it's another cost as well. Yeah, and then of course, there's some people who claimed insurance as well. So It's about 2000 a minute or something when you're not docked or you're not taken off. So these airlines are sweating when their planes are just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, th- there's a lot of money that was spent by them. And but however, I think it's safe to say that they did the right thing because that's 100. one business decision that could have either killed everybody or saved everybody's lives. And thank God it was the latter. Yeah, Word. for real, man. The last yeah. thing you want is like something crazy like that to happen. I remember the, the last, last thing time... you want. The last thing you want is me on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the last <laughs> thing you want is you me on a bloody t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. I ain't trying to see that. We're still young. Nah, nobody we ain't even that, completed half of our missions. Yeah, in fact. Nah, not even. Not we even. just got the game. Nah, I'm, I haven't even had kids yet. So <laughs> I don't want to be on a t-shirt. I do for not real. want to be on a t-shirt at all. For real. No, hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, but yeah, no, it's a fact. All right. How, we're, we're, what's the word they say? Struck for time. So are we going to do music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's do music. Let's do music. All right. So let's. Um, that was a good so episode, could... though. Good story from you, man. That was, I was oh, uh, yeah. on a ride with that. Tough hand. <laughs> If, if, as far as podcast goes this has been a fucking skit man <laughs> <laughs> you know that one oh. hey, okay Jesus okay um, what is it what's going to be my choice for this week oh man and can you only check my phone at this point but hey man inspired me I like I like my style or I like your style by 50 cent um, of Get Richard Die Trying Featuring Tony Yeo. Good song. Good song. Um, I oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's 20 years, you know. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Man, that's an inspiration. Big up to 50, though. He's been in the media a lot. Um, and he seems like he's going to drop new music soon. So I, he, he'll always have my ear. I'm going to pick a song by um, Parallel. It's called Evening Time. Um, like Ooh. a proper like a uh, throwback so just garage vibes man if you know you know but it's, it's good it's good you guys will like it if you like that kind of sound yeah I've never really been out in Tanzania um, but I went out on Saturday and I saw the potentials for like a great time for everybody who's watching this ask Mandem oh yeah if, if you're if you're gay or you're lesbian yeah, you can come to Tanzania, but you have to go to a specific island. It's called Gay Island. That's where you can get married and still have a good time. I, listen, I'm not lying. Today, I just went to Prison Island, <laughs> and that and like there's a historic. <laughs> it, 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 that's no, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not lying. That, that's what it's called. Like people who are gay in terms of season times, like they will get married there. Like gay or lesbians, they'll go out there and get married because it's like an island that's. But you can't get married in Zanzibar. You you'll be, you'll be in prison. You'll be thrown in prison because that place is a Muslim. It's a Muslim country. Don't do that. But if you want to get married, then you're gay or a lesbian. You can go get married on Gay Island. I am not lying. I'm not trying to be funny, funny. But this is a fact. I just learned this today. Yeah, because I was going. I went to Zanzibar. I enjoyed myself in Zanzibar, and then I went to Pem, uh, uh, Prison Island, Island, where I saw the. Huh. You, you went to Gay Island. <laughs> You must be a dickhead. <laughs> no, to be fair, it's it's a tourist destination. If you want to go there, and just check it out. But personally, if people want to get married and they want to be in a gay, that's a place for them to go, isn't it? Okay. Did you say well, be in a gay? <laughs> if they want to get married in a the gay, they can go there, innit? Listen, man, like, live your best life. Still. You can't get married in Tanzania for sure. You can't get married in Zanzibar, but if you want to get married and you're gay or a lesbian, you can go get married over there. I'm it's glad that there's something like, that, that, that they can do that and live their life. So that's yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you can go to the safari park in Serengeti, and then afterwards you can go out and do your thing on the island. Pause. So the song that I'm looking that for was, right that now... Was no way, that's a pause. So the song... <gasps> yeah, so the nightlife in, the, in Tanzania is absolutely amazing. And this was a song that I was listening to. Um, and there was one guy who was a hype man, and shout outs to him. Mm-hmm. Um, the song was called Vava Yo by Huzu and Mario. I'll send the spelling to my because... Yeah, but um, is no, it, that, um, that song yeah. was oh, yeah, yeah, they're playing a lot of they're all playing a lot of random songs, they're all playing a lot of random songs there, but like a lot of people were really feeling them. And I think Demi, like, you would love it, mm. like, you would love you would love like the vibe out there, but yeah, that, that was one of the songs that they were playing. So, this is I'm a piano, but there's also that as well. You have less than 40 seconds to wrap up now, sir. Right, man. Man, Chafford. Wrap it up there. All right, cool, man. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>